that created the first testamentary deed and will the first testamentary trust in history, 1455. And something you'll notice if you do click on that link is there are only three papal bulls with this particular form of words uh, at the incipit, which is incipit is usually called the, the first line of a papal bull. And these words are for a perpetual remembrance. Now, a perpetual remembrance is a testament, clearly a testament. And only three bulls in the history of the church have those words attached to them, the first being this one. The second uh, testamentary trust that was created was some time later, in 1481, called Attorney Regis, or the Eternal Crown. And it was created in granting uh, the crown, the concept of the Crown of Aragon, which some of you may or may not have heard of. The Crown of Aragon uh, was the crown that was uh, created between Ferdinand and uh, Isabella and ultimately became the crown of Spain. Anyway, uh, what this second testamentary deed and will did was it created a thing called, and literally called, the Commonwealth. This is the origin of the concept of the word the Commonwealth. Now, what we mean by Commonwealth is uh, common, uh, communist, uh, and then wealth. And of course, communist uh, means the uh, voluntary servitude of wealth, specifically referring to a papal bull that gave a position of sovereign, the first legal definition of sovereign in history to the uh, crown of Aragon to administer the slaves of the planet. So Romanus Pontifex creates the first trust, which is the land, or let's call it real property. It's, it's real property. The second testamentary trust creates what we know today as personal property, the property in their mind and the property of the Roman cult being the slaves. And then in 1537, under Paul III, we have the third testamentary trust, created called Convocation to our best of our research it may well have had a different name and this unfortunately is a paper bull like many that has been wholly corrupted so that we cannot see its original form just know that it was created at this time but its purpose there is no doubt it was created at the beginning of the Council of Trent the Council of Trent being called to respond to uh, the loss of the uh, loss of uh, England and Ireland uh, because of Henry VIII, and how to deal with uh, those states that had ceded from the Holy See and had been quote unquote lost at sea, lost to the sea. And what Convocation did was create a Third Testament trust where those souls lost to the sea, could be salvaged. And as you'll see in a moment, that is exactly the function of a Sesta KV, its original form. So the big daddy that created the Sesta KV concept certainly was and is uh, the Convocation 1537. Whatever that bull says, as it is locked down in the vaults of the Vatican, written on the skin of a slain child. So there are the three testamentary trusts, the three most powerful testamentary trusts in the world, and they are the three e-states most powerful for the world. Now, can we add more to this? <clears throat> yes, we can. And what I ask you to do is go back to the home page of One Evil and go to the link that was the last link under Evil Rituals, which is on the left-hand side, just above a book image called Today Magisterium, you'll see a link that says Triple Crown of Pontiff. And I ask all of you who are on the call, who do have a web browser, to go and have a look at this link. And when you click on this link, what you'll see is the words 
triple crown tiara of pontiff or the crown of Baal. <clears throat> Baal being Baal Molech, uh, being uh, Satan. So the crown of Satan, the most important crown of the Roman cult, worn by the Roman cult uh, up until <clears throat> the last three popes. Now, <clears throat> their history of this uh, triple crown has been cloaked in uh, mystery for some time. But what you'll see is that there are dates there for the attachment or connection of the different crowns. The first being 1302, Boniface. The second being 1481, Sixtus. And the third being 1537, which we were just talking about with Paul. So I've mentioned to you that the first express trust, the first trust in history was Unum Sanctum. But if you go down on this page, you'll see the heading, <clears throat> the first crown of crown land, which is the creation of the uh, papable Romanus Pontifex uh, and the creation of this testamentary trust. So this trust, if you want to equate it to the present day, is represented by the first sister KV trust created when a child is born. <clears throat> and in a little while, when we get to sister KV on uh, positive law, I'm going to ask Brian Collins to read some of this out. But if you want to think of where does this first crown of the triple crown of the crown of Baal, the crown of Satan, and the claim of power of the Roman system equate to the deprivation of our rights, uh, it is this first Sestic AV they create that denies us our beneficial entitlement. The second crown we mentioned, which was created in 1481 with the bull Eternus Regis, uh, eternal crown, being the uh, crown of Aragon, uh, is the uh, bull that uh, sells our flesh uh, as slaves, that treats us as slaves uh, to this sovereign. Now, Spain lost the crown in 1604 when it was granted to King James and it was done uh, through a sleight of hand in the creation of the Union of Crowns which was passed by British Parliament uh, under the concept of Commonwealth. I mentioned the word Commonwealth was actually created by the Vatican not by Henry VIII, not, certainly not by uh, James. Uh, and that crown remained in control of the uh, English um, uh, monarchy right up till 1975. But in 1975, the uh, two IC to the fascist leader, uh, General Franco, uh, who had merely been a military uh, thug, was... Uh, magically converted into being a king, the king of Spain, King Carlos I. And in that act, the Vatican chose to return the crown of the Commonwealth to King Carlos. And in the process, <clears throat> the clearing houses and the back end uh, tax collectors had to also change where their uh, facilities were handled. And you would notice that uh, there were things changed between the Philippines and Puerto Rico after this occurred. Now, the third crown, the third crown of the Ecclesiastical See in 1537 was granted in its first form to Henry VIII through the Venetian connections. Now, I know people will find that extremely difficult. I know it's controversial. But the purpose of that crown, as I said, was to salvage the souls lost at sea. And that, in, in, in effect, is the very definition of what a Sesta KV Act is all about. And that crown <clears throat> remained in uh, the control of the monarchy up until 1815, when the Rothschilds deliberately bankrupted the Bank of England and the British Empire, and were able then to get their debt currency, a currency based on sin, the monetization of sin in around the world and the creation of currencies as they are today. 
and the bar association that was created as the enforcers of the bankruptcy took control through what is known as the uh, bar temple or the temple bar, also known as the crown bar or the crown. And they have held that crown ever since. So when the judge sits there in the black robes of Saturn, they are representing a reaper of souls. They are representing uh, the uh, gala, the attendance of the dead. And uh, this is a, a clear signal that they are holding still and using still these ecclesiastical powers every day in the issuing of summonses and arrest warrants on robin egg blue paper or yellow paper using the powers of the uh, rota court, the ecclesiastical court of the 12 apostolic proto-notaries being spiritual beings. They're using these powers every day. But hopefully, in what we've discussed so far, we are revealing some of the tricks uh, and the source of their power. So what I'd like to do now is uh, I'd like you to uh, who have, all have a, a web access to call up another link, please, because I'm about to ask Brian in a moment to read out some important sections on SESTA KV. Uh, the link I'd like you all to have a look at is 1 O-N-E dash heaven, H-E-A-V-E-N dot org. That's 1 O-N-E dash heaven dot org. When you go in and you click uh, All Welcome, you go into the home page, I'd like you all to click on Positive Law. And when you get to the index on Positive Law, I'd like you all to have a look at Article 100 of the SESTA KV Trust. Now, Brian, can you hear us? Yes. yes. Brian, I was wondering... Um, uh, there's a lot of words here, so I don't want to overly do it, but um, I think it's important. Would you be able to read Canon 1283, 1284, and then go down to um, uh, Canon uh, 1292, please, and then keep sure. going? Sure, no problem. <clears throat> Canon 1283, a Sestake the trust is a fictional concept being a temporary testamentary trust first created during the reign of Henry VIII of England through the Sesta KV Act of 1537 and updated by Charles II through the Sesta KV Act of 1666 wherein an estate may be affected for the benefit of a person presumed lost or abandoned at sea and therefore assumed dead after seven years Additional presumptions by which such a trust may be formed were added in later statutes to include bankrupts, minors, incompetents, mortgages, and private companies. Canon 1284. The original purpose and function of a Sesta KV trust was to form a temporary estate for the benefit of another because some event, state of affairs, or condition prevented them from claiming their status as the living competent and present before a competent authority. Therefore, any claims, history, statutes, or arguments that deviate in the terms of the origin and function of Sesta KV trust as pronounced by these canons is false and automatically null and void. Canon 1292. Since 1933, when a child is born in a state, which is an e-state, under inferior Roman law, three Sesta KV trusts are created upon certain presumptions specifically designed to deny the child forever any rights of real property, any rights as a free person, and any rights to be known as a man or woman rather than a creature or animal by claiming and possessing their soul or spirit. Canon 1293. Since 1933, upon a new child being born, the executors or administrators of the higher estate willingly and knowingly convey 
the beneficial entitlements of the child as beneficiary into the first SESTA-KV trust in the form of a registry number by registering